Hello everyone. This is chapter 3, Rain. Where does it come from? Class 6, Science subject. In this video, I will tell you the question and answers. And once I have see this, have a look on this presentation, how the water cycle is taking place. From when the sun hits the water bodies, whether it is the ocean, seas, lands, ponds, groundwater or plants. From plants, the water droplets which are evaporating are known as transpiration. That's why transpirations and from other water bodies, it's called as evaporation and it is going up. It is uh, the droplets are forming, the water droplets are forming into clouds due to, due to the process called condensation. And after condensation, precipitation takes place and when the clouds become heavy with the increase of the water vapors and it uh, rains and these clouds goes towards the uh, towards the surface uh, on the upper surface of the uh, lands on uh, lands and it will rain and then this uh, rain occurs on different uh, parts of the uh, earth and this is get collected on different forms on uh, in sometimes if the water droplets is increases the capacity increases or the um, if the uh, precipitation is become uh, more due to uh, coolness uh, due to a uh, heavy when winters are they know and the weather will be too cold at that uh, time what happens it will drops uh, it will rain comes in the form of snow or sleet let's see see here from different forms of the water bodies how the evaporation taking place then condensation then precipitation then rain and then runoff and how the hydrological cycles occurs when as from sea water vapor evaporation sun to Seas, then evaporation and, and uh, if it occurs in the form of snow or hail or split due to cold air or hot air. If it is cold air, the, that, is a, uh, that is in the form of uh, hail, that is snow or sleet. And uh, if it is hot, hot air, then it is tornado. Okay, let's go towards the question analysis. First question is, how are clouds formed? Explain. We have seen how the clouds are forming due to evaporation of the water bodies when uh, uh, they are getting heated up by the sun. Clouds are forming. Clouds are created when the water vapor formed due to the evaporation becomes a part of air and uh, cannot usually be seen. Can we see water vapors when the sun is heating the water bodies? No. So uh, it will just becomes a part of the air. The water vapor which enters into air through the process of evaporation forms cloud in the sky. So it will form what? Clouds in the sky. Due to which process? Evaporation. How clouds are forming? Due to evaporation of water bodies. And uh, who is causing the evaporation of water bodies? That is sunlight or heat. So from sunlight uh, due to heat due to heat of the sun the evaporation is taking place and it is going up and it is forming uh, it is a, becomes a part of the air and it goes up and after going up due to condensation it forms clouds and after clouds it moves to uh, with the flow of the wind to different parts of the earth surface and uh, after precipitation when the uh, when it is heavy the clouds are heavy when it can't hold the uh, clouds anymore and uh, if the drop dates becomes heavy then it uh, will rain. In which form does the water from clouds reach the earth? In which form uh, uh, the water reaches the earth? In the form of air, snow, sleet, okay, steel. Here it should be sleet. It is uh, not steel but it's, it is sleet. Here L and here T, okay. Water releases from clouds. This also clouds you make a correction here yes, yellow uds in the form of rain freezing rain that is freezing rain snow that is shabnam we tell in hindi and in uh, um, i don't know okay snow 
sleet or hailstones that is ice cubes will fall no dust hailstones and reaches on the earth in the form of this form of rain comes to uh, on the on the, and reaches the earth when do clouds becomes cool when it becomes cool winds bring bring the clouds from the sea to the land how they are um, uh, bringing the clouds to the land from the sea from the sea the water is evaporating but um, and there only they are forming the clouds but it is raining on the lands how the colder air in the upper layer that is in the upper layer of the atmosphere cools the cloud now that is because of the heat that evaporation took place but due, after the formation of the clouds what happens due to coolness of the atmosphere that is upper layer of the atmosphere yeah, makes those uh, evap uh, the droplets of the uh, water they will cool those droplets or the water vapor and the clouds come together and they become laden with water vapor laden means it will become heavy with water vapor when it's cooled down explain the relationship between the heat of the sun and evaporation heat of the sun heat of the sun is making the water to evaporate let's see heat of the sun and evaporation are related to each other sun's heat evaporate the water from the surface of water bodies like seas from where they are uh, taking the water vapors the sun heat uh, taking the uh, water uh, making the water bodies uh, to evaporate from which bo water body seas ocean rivers ponds etc and also plants also and the water rises into the atmosphere as the water moves towards it gets condensed what uh, happening now condensed all the water vapors is uh, becoming condensed they are coming together with the uh, when uh, because upper layer of the atmosphere is uh, cooling the water vapors and the condensation process is taking place and clouds are forming form clouds and then fall back as rain and then they will after precipitation it will fall, fall back as a, in the form of rain rain in the uh, rain is in the form of freezing air snow sleet hailstone okay normally it's called rain fall next question why do we experience cloud like smoke near our mouth while we speak during the winter season why we uh, during winter season we can see our breathing air uh, in the form of uh, smoke what happened there also because our body has a, a particular temperature that is 98.6 fahrenheit but when we speak our from our mouth water vapors comes out but, but the temperature around us in the during the winter it is cool well then the un, then our body temperature and what happens when it comes from our mouth it will uh, react uh, with uh, it will uh, condensation takes place due to uh, uh, coolness of the atmosphere and our uh, vapor water vapor which is coming out of our mouth it will just appears like a smoke in winter the air in our atmosphere is very cool like air coming out from our mouth water vapor present in the air coming out from our mouth gets cooled suddenly to fart very tiny droplets what happening they are becoming cooled what are getting cooled the air the air no whatever mouth air consists of it is water vapor only so it is getting cool due to uh, what due to coolness of the atmosphere during winter season and it is forming what very tiny droplets which is which we can see so uh, we can see lie in the form of a smoke this tiny droplets concentrated in a limited area and appears like smoke or a small cloud near our mouth while we speak during the winter season it happens only in winter season or where the uh, weather condition is too cool cold sixth question correct the given sentence if necessary if the size of the water droplets decreases in the clouds they can no longer hold the water drops if it decreases they are telling if water drops it decreases in the cloud if it decreases if um, let's say can you hold a empty glass 
you can hold it uh, to a uh, let's say now to a certain uh, period of time five minutes and if it is filled you can you hold it uh, for a uh, longer time no the like that only here you should change this sentence in the in here they have wrote, uh, wrote uh, this decrease but you have to make it a correction that is you have to write it as increase when it is decrease when it is a small particle it can hold but when it becomes heavy then only it will fall onto the land so you should write you should correct this sentence by just changing this decrease and which makes also a huge difference so write it as increase if you are writing answer okay if the size of the water drops increases in the clouds they can no longer hold the water wave the water drops which of the following days is more suitable for drying of washed clothes explain why windy day or cloudy day it's a very easy answer cloudy day means if it will rain and our clothes become wet again so which season is suitable obviously windy season windy day is more suitable for drying of washed clothes washed clothes dry faster during windy day because wind to help in fast evaporation of moisture present in wet clothes by carrying away along with the moving air which of the following statements are right or wrong which is this a right or wrong evaporation takes place quickly when more heat is supplied is it true or not if we, uh, if heat is more so the evaporation will be more so it, this sentence is right for condensation of water it should be cooled yes it should be cooled then only condensation takes place it, this one is also right we have seen how the condensation is taking place because the upper surface of the atmosphere is cooling the water vapor and forming clouds so this is also right because of the coolness of the upper layer of the atmosphere only the condensation is taking place otherwise water vapors will just go into the universe what uh, water vapor is obtained from water by evaporation yes from water vapor is uh, obtained from what water only so this one is also right and for this uh, draw a diagram which explains the water cycle i have shown you the uh, presentation you can draw like that how do you feel when you see a rainbow express your feeling in the form of a song or a poem rainbow have how many colors seven colors let's see rainbow give gives me the feeling of happiness rainbow not only looks beautiful it looks like it is there for spreading happiness i also like this rainy weather because after rain sometimes rainbow appears in the sky and make the sky very beautiful here is the poem so how many colors red orange yellow green and blue indigo and purple are in there too shining brightly way up high i see a rainbow in the sky rain and sun work together making it my favorite weather okay let's move on to the next question clouds once seen at a particular point may not be there after some time why is, is it possible uh, we, we know if it is raining here in the other state or an other uh, Mm, country it won't be raining or in the other village of, from one village to another village it may it might be not be raining but it is raining in somewhere and it, uh, it is not raining in in somewhere some places how why this happens the clouds formed on the surface of the different water bodies do not stay there you will it stay there only no they start to move from one place to another in the direction of wind so wherever the direction of the wind will be how the wind is blowing so it will move towards that side and so that clouds once seen at a particular point may not be seen there after some times after raining also clouds disappears and if we see a cloud say at a certain plates if we will we can see how they are moving it is it is because of the uh, the wind is making the clouds to move where the wind is blowing revent blew air from his mouth onto the mirror while he was getting ready to go to school he observed that the image in the mirror was not clear why do you think it becomes so 
what have in the winter season okay what happened i think the image is become clear because the air from the mouth contains water vapor which on coming in contact with the cold surface of the mirror condenses hence image is not clear because the water vapor from his mouth the mirror it may it is cool and it condensation taking place and it is making blurry if it is raining in a village you don't find rain on uh, rain another village why do you think it is happening same i think it is happening of uh, clouds because we get rain where the clouds are formed wherever the clouds are formed where there the rain come uh, falls if condensation fails to occur in nature what happens if condensation is not taking place what happens okay the process of conversion of water vapor into water is called condensation and thus the cycle occurs water cycle occurs whatever the water go, goes in the form of air uh, into the atmosphere it will come back uh, in the form of rain but if condensation is not there what will happen there will be no rain and if there no rain means all the water from the earth will goes up and it will go into the universe and there will be no life possible on the earth if condensation fails to occur in nature there will be no rain and all the water bodies will dry up air around us will not expand and cool this in turn what happens stops vapor from uh, vapor form of gas from turning into liquid so you know, the form of vapor that is uh, gas form will not turn into liquid as a result there was there will be no rain if this happens what happens for a long time all the water from the earth will ends up or it will be over why does the driver of a vehicle wipes the glass inside even if the wiper is working on the outer surface of the glass when he drives in rain because of the coolness of rain drops causes what happens the condensation of the natural moisture on the inner surface of the glass of wind screen window screen and also the outside temperature is less as compared to the temperature in the car so the temperature becomes different inside the car and outside the car so the what happens condensation takes place and he has to clean the window or the window screen wind screen hence the driver needs to manually wipe off the inner surface of the glass to maintain the visibility through the glass when he is driving in rain and once again see this how the evaporation and from plants it is called as transpiration and then condensation all this uh, is water from sun uh, due to sun's heat evaporation and uh, transpiration from plants ponds or lakes and ground water everything all the waters are going up condensation then precipitation then raining see and uh, also plants are getting water due to rain and from ground water also plants will get the water thank you